Hey you guys, how are you? So I've just been watching some of uh, Clay Tool Stories um, videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Awesome YouTuber from um, South Island, Nelson, New Zealand. Um, so um, yeah, have a look at that. And um, what he does is he's lately he's been taking a, he's got a club called the Good Bastards Club and he takes young fellas out and gives them a blat in the bush and teaches them how to hunt pigs and you know, the proper way, you know, like he's awesome mate. So um, catch him, go have a look. Does some awesome music too. I've got one of his CDs, and, oh, two of his CDs actually, and um, bloody awesome. And it's been too long, so sorry Clay mate, I'm today, I am going to be a good bastard and I'm going to donate some money. So, um, and I'm, I'm going to do it a couple of times, it's not just a once, so it's going to help, yeah, hopefully help some of those young guys get out there. So, um, and that'll be awesome. As well in this video today, we'll be doing some gear reviews. Have some winter gear, and um, I got my new 10 to 18 millimeter lens on a, on my Canon 70D right now. Pretty cool. Um, so we're giving that a black, and um, probably can see a wide range. Um, got the old Phantom 3 up on the corner there. She had a bit of an accident the other day. Um, let's see if I can show you some remnants of a uh, of a. So there you go guys, that's, um, that's the Phantom 3 out of action for a little bit. The Phantom 3 I just use as a harm, like a, you know, I take it to real dodgy spots, so, and then I do, because my 4, I don't want to fucking, you know, I've already had someone smash it into a tree and I fully rebuilt it, and um, she's mint now, so I've um, got awful, I even put new motors on it just to make sure, uh, make sure she was going to go mint. And she hasn't failed me yet. She's she's done some miles now. All those videos that you see, most of them at, lately have been from the four. So um, she took a knock, and um, all the gimbal was smashed, and so I all replaced all the new bits. So I've got a whole lot of new bits. Got this new piece coming here. It's this round bit, and it sticks in there, and all that stuff. So um, also I um, I snapped the blade off the corner. I should have done the video, I was trying to load test it, I was carrying like a coke can with water in it to see how much load it could take, and fuck, I got it up in the air, mate, and she just went boom, boom, and just hit the house, and then the can of coke got stuck into a tree, oh, the can of coke first got stuck into a tree, and then it hit the house, so, and, yeah, so that's her, that's the camera under there, I've also bought a GoPro mount to stick on this too, so we can get the GoPro on this one, and we can peel that round, we'll have some sound on it too, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, also with the four, quickly, I've got some, uh, those, um, guard, propeller guards, so that'll be, that'll be some good, makes it a lot bigger though, but that's all good. Um, yeah, so that's, that's some shit there. So, um, hey, look, what we'll do is we'll get into this, we'll, we'll make this payment to this good bastard, and, um, We'll hit it. Okay, guys, here we are. We're in Clay's uh, website. So we hit the Good Bastards Club, I think. Go down here. Click Donate. Purpose. Awesome. Makes me feel good when I do something like that. If you guys got a little bit of coin to help someone, always try and help someone else, eh? And then um, pay it forward. Okay, guys. First item we've gonna, we're gonna, we got today um, is. This is for. This is um. This is only a couple of things. I'll do some more. I'll just keep doing more videos of gear oh, this is probably going to be about three or four items so um first one is some the bottom layer was is your feet so um we've got some irish cedar boots here i highly recommend you get good quality boots um and wear them in first you've got to wear them in guys because you get blisters um i bought these and i've got to give them um a bit of a shine up but i've got special um got 
special uh, shoe stuff there. And that's to keep these, and I promise you, mate, the, and, and it works, it works, it really does. So a uh, good, good pair of boots there, guys. Also, uh, a good pair of socks. I've got another pair somewhere in here, I think. And here, two socks. When I go tramping and uh, long missions, I've got a uh, just a base layer sock. These are Kathmandu ones. Now these socks are all quite expensive, but they're worth they're worth the um they're worth the money. So g'day, how are you, my friend? You gonna come to groom your dad? Oh, that's nice. You gonna say hello? Hey, who's that, Pinky? Good girl. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Come on! Oh, no, I better not say that. She thinks we're going somewhere. <laughs> she's she's onto it, man. I promise you. Um, what's this? Pat, pat. Good girl. Go down for a pat. She'll she'll do this all day. So um, socks. So I got a Katmandu, quite a thin pair, and then they go over my. I think these are Katmandu. What? Yeah, I go to. I got some Mac Pack ones and as well other ones like that. So these ones here and these are um. These socks are awesome, man. They actually really stay on your feet. Um, so socks, even these by themselves, all good, all good. I love these socks. They're so comfortable. And if you mix them with these, even better. So um, that's a Katmandu. Um, base layer. And your overlayer there. So that's some... I've got another other pair of boots as well. I can't remember what brand they are. Off solo boots, they're bloody good too, but um, the soles are starting to come off. I shoe gooed them up, so yeah, I got them second hand from America just to see if they were good. I wouldn't, yeah, so um, yeah, they're all right anyway. I suppose they're not the best, but those Irish shedders are the go, they're like walking in heaven. So and you walk through rivers and you come out dry as awesome, especially if you keep that leather cream on there. If you've got leather boots, well worth putting leather cream on there. And um, so I'm gonna go with the top now. So what we do is, I haven't got a, one here, but I like a good merino singlet. Um, I have these Ridgeline. These are good round camp. They keep you fucking warm. They do, and they're good at night, chilling out. Awesome. If you're going to go up into the bush with them, I don't actually recommend taking them up there. The amount of times I've gone for walks and um, taken these, and I'm sweating, and I am sweating hard out. These make you sweat hard out. Then you get, you can get cold, and then it's just, oh, the, and then you get too hot. You got to take them off and on and off and on and off. So just a, a, a nice fitting t-shirt. This one's a bit loose, but um, just a nice average t-shirt, and that'll be that'll be sufficient for um, for the overlayer of your um, mid layer, over your um thermal uh, singlet there make sure you've got a thermal singlet though it's, it's got to be thermal you know you can take that off and you wear your thermal singlet around your sweet ass and um the thing is you don't want to carry me too many layers as well so um this is like if i'm going to go on a, a bit of a tramping mission but i don't i wouldn't take um i wouldn't take the the swan dry i'm going to show you but um around camp all day with that swan dry yeah, all day awesome 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 if you're going for a little walk sweet as probably like a day walk maybe even there take that sweet ass um i probably would actually take it for a week mission but um because it's it's pretty good but you know it's it's quite heavy and it's it is quite heavy i haven't taken it on a mission because i've got other stuff i wear as well so um yeah and another another thing i i do like though is these ridgeline um jumpers they're very thin i've got the thumb holes i've got thumb holes here on them you get them in a pack, you get a whole pack, you get the socks, pants, um, pants are awesome too. Yeah, I love those pants, but um, I've been bushing them like on some hunts and stuff and they actually start dropping down and stuff, you put things in them, They, if you get them wet, they just like heavy ads. So um, yeah, I go in shorts and um, and some merino um, long johns, so um, thermal long johns, so I... And then I just wear those socks and some good shorts, and, and that's me. And um, I do wear pants as well sometimes, but it's got to be pretty cold, you know. But even in the very, very cold, I still wear shorts, and it's still sweet. So um, that's that's over your um, 
that goes over your shirt. So that's um, it's quite got a high collar as well. So that's good. It keeps your keeps your neck nice and warm. And um, so that's bloody awesome too. Uh, here we go down here. If you're on a farm or four wheeling or um, or just you know mishing around in the bush or just mucking around on the farm or whatever, man, uh, beach. These these swan drives, man. I swear by them. I've got this. I've got this one. It's the bush, bush one. She fucking nibbles at my um leather on my one of the other my what are they oil skin. Sorry. Yeah. So um yeah, bush shirt, bushman's jumper. That one, swan dry one. I highly recommend these. Eh? <laughs> these are these are this is one of the best things I've ever bought. Seriously. Awesome, so warm, so warm, so warm. I just wear it all the time. I wear it all the time. I actually do. And this one here, I've got. Oh, sorry. Come on. Yeah, up there then. Good girl. Okay, this one here. Fuck, little bastard. She's been chewing the stitching on it. Now this here, um, I actually swear by this so much. It is probably oh, the, one of the top two items that I've ever bought. Probably those boots and these, and this. Man, this is oh, this, this is called a um, Kaiwaka oil skin. I hunted around for ages for an oil skin that I wanted. And I could not find them, and um, I still wouldn't mind one a bit lighter. But this is fucking. This is this is the go, and I, I highly recommend it. It's Kai Manawa. New Zealand company. Most of my shit's New Zealand um, companies because they make quality stuff. Those Irish shitters are from overseas. Um, here we go. This thing here, man. It's got some. It's got like a warm woolen inlay. It's got a heavy duty plastic zip. It's got a high collar. It's got a high back. So when you sit, you can sit on logs. Um, probably seen me wearing this in my, some of my videos if you got a pig on the back or something mate I tell you this is the go very heavy duty zip um, it's called a rig a loggers jacket because um the loggers wear them all the logs and the chainsaws and shit so it's got leather here <laughs> these these are mean these are mean then you've got the um you've got the long tail down there that, that long tail and that's I swear by that, guys. Absolutely swear by it. So, I'm going to keep cosy because it's getting a bit cold. It's been foggy ads the last few days. And I've got another video to do, so keep them rolling out. Keep them rolling out. Also got another channel on the go, David Killip. Look at that one. It's um, it's just different stuff. It's um, going to be like disasters, you know, like um, sort of media stuff. Um. Yeah, because heaps of shit's been happening. I've got some floods and all that kind of. You've probably seen my flooding video if you've watched heaps of my videos. And but this is all going to be that kind of stuff. So this channel will be like just my general stuff I do, and then the other one's going to be like um, emergency stuff. So um, that that's going to be pretty cool, guys. It's going to also have like trains and machinery and all that kind of cool shit, uh, welding and all that kind of stuff. Got a few time lapses. I've done um doing some rear panels at work and stuff like that for panel beating so um awesome thanks for watching guys um it's probably been a long one but well worth it trust me the clothes will be worth it even any of those items i highly recommend it you won't won't let you down and um one more thing actually i've been meaning to show us for ages i i made myself a, a knife from the bush the uk bushcraft store This is a Gary Mills blade, four millimeter, good for smashing. Um, curly birch wood, a handle. I made the handle. I just got the the knife blank and then um, inserted all the things. I've done a bit of a shabby job, but fuck, not too bad for a first knife go. Um, yeah, just you just get this as a block. Hell, well worth it. You get leather inserts. If you get shit, oh dear. You get um, leather inserts. If you can see the black leather inserts there, 
between the um, the blade and the handle there. And then I've just put a nice stain over the top. And um, high quality blade. A couple of hundred dollar knife, you know, not a shit one. I chose a, a good one. It's got a pour on there. You might just see it. But I've, um, I use this knife for everything now. Cut my fruit and everything. So she's a good one, guys. So look at look at the bushcraftstore.uk. And um, it's not a... I don't get anything for the plugging them, but... So I get a cool knife to have. And it's um, it's cool because I've made it. I just don't have a sheath. That's a shit thing. And um, yeah, sure, this is a freaking awesome knife. Even better because I've... I've um, I've had a hand in making it. Not all of it, but most of it. And it's well worth it. Quite good fun. I did I did a two video on it, but I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't want to look like a dickhead, so um, I didn't show it. I should have, though. I don't really give a shit what anyone thinks. Anyway, that's how you got to roll with life, guys. Be your own person. <clears throat> so, um, thanks for watching, guys. Awesome. <laughs>